It is 803. Let's get a quick check of those headlines for you on this Friday. There's an awful lot going on, mm -hmm. starting with the fires burning here in New Mexico. Firefighters down in the Gila, they're trying to do everything they can to protect the town of Kingston. They've been out all night long trying to find out exactly how much the fire has grown since yesterday. They're using some infrared mapping. We'll have those numbers for you later today over on News 13. Right now, that fire estimated about 19,000 acres and flames have ripped into the west end of Kingston. But thankfully, they've not done any damage so far. Firefighters on the ground have been able to start some containment lines and helicopters are still dropping water when they can. Today, folks in the area can get two updates on the fire. One meeting is in just two hours at 10 this morning at the Hillsborough Community Center. The other is at 6 tonight at the Roundup Lodge in San Lorenzo. And here's some good news about the Rosso fire in the Pecos. Infrared mapping for that one shows it's burned fewer acres than originally thought. A lot fewer, as a matter of fact. It's now 3,500 acres and not the 8,000 firefighters thought last night. And the fire is burning in an area of a lot of dead trees. That's a lot of fuel right there. That's probably going to erupt. All the trails leading to the Pecos wilderness from the Carson National Forest are now closed. And because of the high fire danger, sales restrictions on fireworks in Albuquerque are now in effect. This means you cannot buy certain fireworks, the ones that are banned, such as firecrackers, the fireworks that fly and the, what they call chasers, basically anything that shoots up or out. You can't buy it. You're not supposed to shoot it off either. The city has already banned all these fireworks. Now it's making sure people don't have a way of buying them. Well, there are three heroes this morning. This is a little bit, of, a lot of great news actually in Albuquerque. James Baca, the man you just saw, is one of them. He was on his way to work at the Water Utility Authority yesterday morning when he heard an explosion from an apartment complex on Glorietta near Central and Eubank. Baca, Officer Robert Mitchell, whom you just saw, and Bernalillo County Fire Logistics Chief Theral Lindsay, right there, all sprung into action very quickly. As we went to the back, we were banging on windows, trying everybody to get out. Uh, broke a few windows. Uh, there was a fenced in area in the back, which was the only way to go because you couldn't go out the front because that's where the fire was. There was no way to escape. The three guys, get this, pulled 12 people out of the burning home, including a newborn baby. Three even managed to save several dogs' lives. Thankfully, no one was seriously hurt, but Officer Mitchell did have some smoke inhalation. Investigators still trying to figure out what started that fire. Well, this morning, there could be a new owner of the Chamisa Hills Golf Course in Rio Rancho at a meeting at City Hall last night. A man named Michael Schumacher said his company, BizDoc Inc., wants to buy the course in the country club, and he plans to. He says he's lived in the city for 14 years. He wants to keep that area a golf course, not turn it into a subdivision, as a lot of people were fearing. Online bidding goes for, oh, it's not too much. Kristen can buy it, $850,000. Yeah. Yeah, right. The former owner says he's selling the course because he cannot afford to pay of the water bill.